Submersible pressure transmitter installation. Selection of installation location. The choice of transmitter installation location should facilitate ease of maintenance and mounting. It is not recommended for the transmitter to reach reservoir bed. The best place to mount the transmitter is where liquid is still or moves the least. Prevent liquid from freezing. Prevent the capillary tube from clogging by placing the cable end in a dry room or by using a termination box with an air filter. Submersible pressure transmitter mounting. It is recommended to use special clamps when mounting the transmitter. Cable clamp with rubber sealing sleeve or cable hanger. To prevent the transmitter's sideways shifts due to liquid currents, it is recommended to mount the transmitter inside the guide tube. Optionally, transmitter cable can be contained in a corrugated stainless steel tube. It serves to protect the cable from mechanical damage, connecting submersible pressure transmitter to termination box. Termination box is an option that simplifies connection and provides additional protection to the pressure transmitter. Termination box is usually placed in a proximity to the submersible pressure transmitter installation location. It provides interconnection of the transmitter's hydrometric cable with the regular cable, allowing overall cabling cost reduction. Termination box also features surge and lightning protection circuitry. Protective cap is an optional component of the transmitter. The cap is removed for viscous medium and to clean the sensor. Use a screwdriver to remove the protective cap. Thank you for your attention.